this is my brand new Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Hero Evangelion Motherboard. As I'm making this video, there's not many real world videos out there showing off this motherboard's detail, so I'm trying to show you as much as I can. And at the end here, I will show you all the RGB light function options. This board supports 12th gen Intel processors as well as DDR5 only RAM. The anodized purple is beautiful, the neon is amazing and poppin'. Beautiful anodized heat sinks that keep your hard drive nice and cool. When I was installing the motherboard in this computer, all the holes lined up perfectly. In the back, we'll give you three USB-C connectors, a 2.5 gigabyte ethernet adapter, and all the audio power you need. The screen printing on the back is beautiful. Even though you're not gonna be able to see it in the case, it is a nice touch, I love it. The rest of the contents in the package are the same as the other Z690 motherboards. All right, let's check out this RGB stuff. Okay, so it's been about five days. This thing is beautiful. I love it, I love it. So inside here, I have DDR5, I have an i7 12th gen in there, and I have a cooler. All of them plug in to the board that has RGB Aurora Sync. So that's pretty cool too. I'll show you that in a second. And you can see over here on its own, Ava Unit 1. All right, so you can see how beautiful it is. This is pretty much just standard if I don't touch any of the RGB stuff in Aurora inside of the PC. It is just gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. So I do have some setting controls on here. Let's look at this here real quick. Okay, so these are all the items that are hooked to the motherboard for the Aurora Sync. There's a motherboard itself. There's the strip light that I have in there. There's the RAM, and I believe that one controls my heat sink. So I do have it set to rainbow here, which is the prettiest for my RAM and my cooler fans. But the rainbow effect did not work to change the Ava Unit 1's color. Only some of them did. So I'm gonna click through some of these that say like static and breathing and strobing and stuff. All right, so there's a static color. I can click on each color I want. I have a color wheel. There's yellow, there's blue, there's like a purple. Uh, let me see if I could just go through the whole color wheel and will it kind of work. Yeah, so I can pretty, you can pretty much pick your exact hue here for Ava Unit 1. That's just on the static color. Uh, there's a breathing effect there where you can uh, color rotation the breathing effect. That does change the colors on Ava Unit 1. The strobing works as well. Music mode works well. As you can see, Unit 1 is jamming to the beat. So that is all the cool things that are unique that I know of for this Ava Unit 1 board. I love it. I've had no problems at all. I've had no crashes at all. This thing's worked out great. When I'm done with this motherboard, I'm going to put this in the shadow box. I'm going to light up Ava Unit 1, and I'm going to have an awesome collectible piece from a rad, interesting anime that I love. I hope this helps you all.